Welcome to another Pico TV how to program. This time we are looking at the construction of ratio signal kits. In this production, we will be building the ratio 460 GWR square post home signal and we'll be demonstrating fitting a warm white micro LED. We will also be demonstrating the operation of the ratio 493 SR rail built signal posts with both upper quadrant home and distance semaphore using the Pico Smart Switch PLS100. But first of all we're going to take a look at the real deal. The Swanage Railway and the Seven Valley Railway have kindly given us access to their signals. The definition of a railway signal is a visual device that conveys instructions or provides advanced warnings of instructions regarding the driver's authority to proceed. To allow the signal indication to be seen at night, the arm is fitted with two lenses, duplicating the indication displayed. The lenses are illuminated from behind, originally by oil lamps and later on by electric lamps. So to enhance the realism of your railway, adding movement and lighting to your signals takes your model to the next level of detail and accuracy. Before we start, you need the right tools to do the job, and we recommend the Pico Tools Kit Builders Toolset, the PT200. You will also require a pair of pointed nose pliers, a bradle, a 13mm drill bit, a pin vise with a 1.4mm drill bit, super glue, and plastic weld. Note to modelers we are demonstrating the fitting of LEDs to the quick assembly GWR lower quadrant signals as they come with clear plastic lenses and have pre-painted semaphore arms. Other kits in the range require painting and do not have clear plastic lenses, therefore might be a little more challenging but could still be illuminated with a bit more effort. Let's get started. First of all we need to remove the plastic components from their mouldings and select the correct parts as not all the items in this kit are required for this particular build and use a file to remove any burrs and rough edges then cut off approximately 3mm from the post of the locating spigot. Now it's time to fit the micro LED. Place the tip of the drill bit over the circular lens hood of the lamp on the signal post and carefully drill all the way through keeping the pin vise upright at all times. Take great care whilst doing this. Once you have drilled a hole with a pin vise you should have a hole that looks like this. Then push your LED very gently through the back of the lamp making sure the front of the LED is facing the correct direction like this. Once the LED is in place, put a tiny blob of super glue on the back of the lamp and hold the LED wires in place. Taking the same pin vise, drill a hole in the corner of the reverse side of the signal base. This is to disguise the wires which later on for the LED will be glued to the back of your signal post and can drop down through the hole and the baseboard. Using plastic weld, and a paintbrush, cement the post onto the base. When it sets, locate the quadrant to the underside of the base of your post. Before cementing, ensure the direction of the pivot matches this diagram. Cut the wire to a length of 118 millimeters. Then bend a 4mm 90 degree angle at one end. And at the second, a 4mm bend, paying attention again to the diagram to see the different angles. The length of wire between the two bends should be 110mm in length. 
The end of the wire may need slightly dressing with a needle file to pass through the holes easily in the components. Then fix the spectacle plates to the signal arm and then fix the lenses into the spectacle plates. Then fit the brass washer to the arm. Pass the upper end of the wire through the hole in the assembly signal arm and the other end of the wire through the hole in the base and locate the signal and pivot through the eyelet in the post. Fit the back shade onto the pivot now protruding through the post. Holding the signal in position horizontally adjust the back shade to sit against the stop at the rear of the post and check the signal arm for freedom of movement. Then cement in place, constantly checking the signal arm can move. In order to disguise the wires coming out of the back of the signal lamp, we recommend neatly running the wires straight down the reverse side of the post and tacking it with super glue all the way down like this. Take time to mold the wires neatly so they cannot be seen once painted. Then attach the brackets for the ladder, making sure they fit over the top of the wires neatly and the counterbalance at the base of the post must also be fitted. Position the crank into place and feed the bottom end of the wire through the appropriate hole in the crank. Note for this part of the film, we are not fitting the return spring onto the crank because we will be using the smart switch motor to drive the arm up and down. Now it's time to connect your LED to the relevant power supply, generally 3 volts DC or if you have a resistor attached, 12 volts DC. As you can see the LED is shining brightly through the coloured lenses as desired. In the next stage we will look at motorising ratio signals using smart switch and for this particular demonstration we are using the ratio 493 SR rail built signal kit. Having built the kit in a similar manner to the previous ratio kit featured, the SR rail built signals have options of having both home and distant signals that require two servos in order to operate. We start off by making a 13mm hole in the baseboard in the required position and fix securely the foot of the signal post in place. Now this is a really important note. The servo must be programmed with minimal movement prior to linking the signal. Failure to do so will damage the signal as the motion on the first activation will move quickly and over a greater distance than the capability of the signal. Full instructions on how to program your smart switch can be found in the smart switch instruction manual provided in the box and also available as a download from our website. Then position the smart switch motors at 90 degree angles to the crank but you will need to stagger them in order to make room for both. You will require a braddle and a screwdriver to attach them to the underside of your baseboard. Once you have fitted your smart switch motors, you then need to attach the wire from the loop end of the crank onto the servo horn. And repeat with the second servo. Program and test your smart switch servos. And there we have it. First up is the Great Western Square post signal motorized with working LED. And to follow up Southern Railways 
rail-built signal post with both home and distance signals. So what's stopping you from converting your ratio kits into fully operational signals? We hope you've enjoyed this programme and we look forward to seeing you again on another Pico TV production in the future. Thank you.